Hello everyone, today, we will learn reshape. This function reshapes a data frame between wide format and long format. Before we get started, it is always a good habit to remove the previous files and set working directory. Let's get started with a data example. Data Orthodent which is from a package N L M E. Let's see what the data look like. You can see the four variable names, distance, age, subject, and sex. I copied this data to a bit easier name, my data. For general demonstration, I am going to change the column names. You can see the current names in the console at the bottom, which will be changed to response, which is a continuous numeric. Age is the time variable. ID means the unique ID for the subjects or experiment units. Group is the categorical variable, such as male or female that can characterize the IDs as one of the groups. Now you can see the name change at the bottom in console, or on the top of the lines of my data. You can always check the dimension of data with DIM command. Also, head command that returns the first six lines of a data frame or with your choice, like n equals 10. These two commands are useful when you like to quickly view the data frame. Now observe, this data is the long format in the sense that repeated measurements from one unique subject are recorded in the multiple lines. In other words, the first four lines are dependent each other because it's from one subject. When you look at the next four lines, those are independent from the previous four lines because they are different person's data. This format is preferred in most statistical software. However, there are situations that we have to transform the data such that each line has all information of one unique subject. Accordingly, repeated measurements will be transposed to the Y direction and new column names will be assigned. Let me first create a data set, any name you like, say W, which is created by reshape command. Since we are creating a wide format from a long format, the input data should be a long format. Let's use my data. Then, as an argument, id variable to contain, id in group, so that each line contains the unique subject's information. In this time variable, we like to pick a variable that will be time points, displaying in multiple columns to the y direction. In this case, 8, 10, 12 and 14 are the time points, and age variable has these values. Now, v.name should have the actual data vector to transpose to the y direction. So, can you guess? That's correct. Response variable will do it. Finally, direction sets to wide. Then we are done. Let's find out how the data look alike with the wide format. You can see the unique subject in each line with multiple time points as a sequence. Of course, the opposite way is possible. That is, we can reshape the wide format along format data. Let's find out how. Let's view the wide layout data we just created. What we are going to do, 
hold response dot eight as it is now. Then the next column, response dot ten will be added to the bottom, and so forth, and finally we'll make a long vector. Let's create a new data, L, which is created by reshape. From the wide type data, the first argument is varying. This allows us to select the range of data by picking the columns. The next argument is v.names. Since a data matrix to a vector, we will need only one column name now, so let's name it to response. Then, the timestamp should follow accordingly. For this task, we use times argument, where input the time points. Because it becomes a long vector, we only need one column name, now the time variable assign the name to be age. Finally, let's do direction sets to long. Let's check how the long data turns out to be. Awesome. It's the long layout. If you like to, you can sort this data by the unique ID. Now you can see the results sorted by ID.